Do you know what I like to do before I get my Friday night started? I like to look at some baseball cards. I have a few things to show, as always. First, I wanted to upgrade my 1952 Bowman Ralph Kiner. Mine's in real nice shape, but it has some uh, surface issues, some, you know, some of the, the white stuff that uh, gets on the surface of these things. Common with the 54 tops, co common with the 52 Bowman. And so uh, I picked th this up. It's a real nice example. And Ralph Kiner, man, he doesn't get enough love in baseball or the hobby. You know, Ted Williams put him on his all-time best hitters list, 20, 20 best hitters of all time list. If Ted Williams is calling you a good hitter, man, you're a good hitter. And of course, the only player to lead the league in home runs his first seven years in the majors. His first seven years. I think what hurts him is, uh, at the time he played for Pittsburgh, they had god-awful teams. Uh, but what's funny is, Branch Rickey was the general manager when he played, and and he went to him, you know, after like the seventh year of leading the league in, in home runs, and he wanted a pay raise. And Branch Rickey wouldn't give it to him. He said, if I can, if I can lose with you, I can lose without you. And so he went on to Cleveland. I got this cool one, and I love to collect minor league cards. And uh, this is the uh, 84 TCMA Pawtucket Red Sox. Roger Clemens. And you know, I'm a collector, I'm not an investor, and uh, the cards like this, I'm just thrilled to get any good looking one. Tend, I tend to get a lot of sevens because they're, they're, they're good looking. Don't really have any flaws. Without looking under a freaking microscope. Got the whole set actually, but there's nobody else notable in here. But I got this in the whole set for cheaper than other ones. So ended up with it. Now for my 86 Fleer basketball set, I only needed a couple of uh, the big cards. I think the only one I need is Patrick Ewing now. Maybe Carl Malone. I got to double check. I, I, I might need Carl Malone too. But anyway, I got uh, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. And it's a really nice and nicely centered. This set is notoriously off center. Uh, so glad to finally add that. So I'm down to two big cards, or maybe one. I got to double check. I uh, got this Todd Helton. This thing's pretty cool. Draft class. Everyone has the USA one, but there's like three million of those. Uh, not a card you see every day, anyway. And this guy's fantastic. Kyle Hamilton. Safety for the Ravens. So I had to snag him up. Fantastic player. I got this Giannis, and this thing is just so cool to me. I love it. This is the court side. I have another version of this. It's orange, and man, it's uh, it's it's actually hard to see the image. I, I think they did too much refractor stuff with it. <laughs> but I love this card. Put it in one of these half-inch thick screw downs kind of looks museum quality when you set it down and I went back through an old I went back through my old uh, Sports Illustrated for kids cards because uh, I knew I had this and this is why I subscribe because a lot of times there will be a big card in there or a card you want and it's from two years ago uh, so then you got to go pay up for it so you just subscribe for like 20 some bucks a year, you get them all. And uh, then it's fun to go back if somebody blows up and uh, pull their card out. So anyway, I got a, uh, a Caitlin Clark here. I went back and pulled her card out. And these are, these are the mag pro holders I've been telling you about. My, 
my labels are coming tomorrow. So I just had labels done with my name on the Mangini collection. They designed a cool, cool look. Because you know I hate those numbers. I mean, look at this card. What's the first thing you see? The freaking number. Ridiculous. I got this. Um, man. Tim Duncan was such an amazing basketball player. And it's a cool card. It's the gold medallion. And I have two random cards of the day. One is this 1952 Weedy Sam Sneed. And if you collect golf cards, I believe this is his only golf card. At least from back then. Who knows with all these modern cards they make with old players, but I do believe, searching for many years, that this is his only golf card. Although he may have another Wheaties. Most of them have an action and a portrait. I don't think I've ever seen a portrait if, if it exists, but a uh, cool card. Sam Snead, one of the greatest. What? He had some record. The number is 11. Was it 11 majors? 11 tournaments in a row? Something like that. An, an amazing golfer. My other random card of the day, and one of you will know and comment and let me know. I have all these facts and names in my head. I can't always pull them out. <clears throat> uh, so another random card of the day is my man, Franco Harris, 1977, Tops. And I thought this was interesting. This was an interesting card to talk about because you could see that he was a thousand yard rusher. Now what's interesting about this is in 1976, Steeler fans and the Steeler team will tell you that was their best defense ever. They were off to a rocky start, surprisingly, because they were the favorites to win the Super Bowl. But they lost. They were like 1-3 and three after four games, something like that. And Terry Bradshaw got hurt. They had to bring a young quarterback in, rookie quarterback named Mike Krujak. He was our backup. And he would just hand off to Franco and Rocky and let that steel curtain defense do its thing. They'd hand off, and that was it. So they went on a tear. Chuck Knoll call, called on the running game, and he called on the steel curtain defense, and he said, you have to win these for us. It was one of the greatest defensive performances in the history of the NFL. In the next nine games, the Steelers gave up a total of 29 points, including five shutouts. Franco had over a thousand yards, and Rocky Blyer had over a thousand yards. That's unheard of to have two players, two running backs, both have over a thousand yards. And they went to the championship game. They won the first playoff game huge, killed them. I think it was I think it was the Colts, the Baltimore Colts. And then both Rocky and Franco got hurt in that game. And they lost to the Raiders in the championship. But an amazing season. It was just too much. You know, back then it was more of a running game and, and losing both your running backs. They had a young running back named uh, Harrison. What was his first name? Reggie Harrison. Didn't do too good. But what an amazing season and an amazing defense. But what's interesting is that Mike Krujak that year set the rookie record for most consecutive wins by a starting rookie quarterback. You probably never heard of him. And he won it because of Franco, Rocky, and that defense. And what's interesting is another Steeler rookie quarterback broke his record, and that was Big Ben. That's what I have for you. Have a fabulous Friday night. Thanks for hanging out with me.